guys, how are you today? I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining me here in the home garden. I hope you are continuing to learn, grow and blossom at home. Well, I thought we would do a little bit more experimenting. So I haven't done this for a long time, but then I fell in love with making sprouts again. So I thought that we could do an experiment in growing some sprouts. So we've got some quinoa. Now I love quinoa. You saw that I love my quinoa rainbow salad and you know I love rainbows. So I've got some tri-colored quinoa here and we're going to do something different with it today. We're going to make not sprouts, but microgreens. How cool is that? So we're going to be able to eat the green shoots as well as the seeds. So we've been soaking them here to clean them up and their impurities. And we've got a little microgreen container. So if you don't have one at home, you can use a takeaway dish as well. So we've got some paper towel. Can you see that one okay? Now, we've got this handy little tool. We've been rinsing them and we're going to gently wet. You can see that it's catching the water in there. Whoops, hopefully it doesn't leak on me. Let it drain down. We don't want too much water. We want it just nice and damp. There we go. Can you see that? And then we've still got some water down the bottom. No. We are going to grow them like a cover crop. Okay. Okay, so we are going to grow them. So nice and thick. We're going to do about half the size. I might even put the rest in the garden. So we're just going to, oh, that feels nice. It feels like we're making a cake or a brownie. You know what? I did spill the water. It's going down my Tootsie Toes. Oh, that's okay. I don't mind a little bit of mess. Mess and dirt is fun. So there we go. We've done that nice and spread out. And we can't wait to see how these grow. Then we'll be able to eat the sprouts on our salads, on our sandwich. Now, we've got something else from the pantry. We've got chia seeds. Did you know I grow chia in my garden? Chia seeds are fantastic and they're a superfood and they taste delicious. Have you ever had chia pudding? Chia chocolate pudding is delicious. So we're going to make some more microgreens and we're just going to sprinkle them on. There we go. We're going to watch them grow and it's a race between the chia seeds and the quinoa. Now, both of these, I grow the seeds of the uh, chia for me, but they're a little bit hard. So I grow them for the bees. I grow the flowers so that they attract the bees. And you can also use the leaves like spinach. So sometimes I don't have spinach or silver beet. So we're going to grow and see them. Now, I'm going to show you something really cool. So only today, maybe an hour ago, I started to soak the quinoa. But I can already see that it started to sprout. Would you like to have a look? Have a look in there. See if you can see the little seeds that have popped out. I can see the little sprouts. Can you? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Have a look at that one. The seed coat is opening and the embryo is coming out. <gasps> and look at that. Can you see that? I can see so many little sprouts already. Have a look at that one right there in my finger. That is so cool. Can you see it? That is amazing. So these are really fast growing. So that is a nice and quick and easy thing that you can do at home. So once again, I'm going to remind you, as I tell my students all the time, please don't waste food. So we're focusing on eating as much of our food, reducing our waste and composting our scraps. So. These are bananas I saved from the compost. I know I'm not at the school garden. I'm not digging through the compost and sorting it out and doing a war on waste approach or a waste audit. But I am going to tell you that I saved these from a shop. Now, these are perfectly fine bananas. Yes, they look a little bit brown, but absolutely beautiful. But instead of going to landfill, the shop was going to compost them. And instead of composting them, I asked them if I could have them. Mm, delicious perfect in every way mm. and now 
I've got more to add to my compost. I have something else to show you. It is so exciting. It's a beautiful color and you know that I love rainbow colors. So I'm going to show you. Oh, it's, it's a secret. I'm going to bury it. <gasps> what do you think that is? A potato? It's not a normal potato. <gasps> Oh, you can't see it very well now because it has been chilled. It's beautiful. Let's see if we can see what color it is underneath. Oh, it's going to be a surprise. You ready? Okay. This is not just an ordinary sweet potato. It's a sweet potato with purple inside. So it's white and purple. That is so cool. I do love a rainbow garden. So we're going to experiment and see if our sweet potato is going to grow. And as soon as it's warm enough, we're going to pop it outside and it's going to grow as a living mulch in my garden. And because I love rainbows, I'm going to end the day on a little bit of a quiet time. I'm going to document all my findings and I'm going to put my feelings on paper. I'm going to calm down when I'm feeling a little bit sad or angry or if I'm feeling a bit lonely, if I'm feeling happy, or if I'm feeling joy. Either way, I'm going to document it in my nature journal. So come and join me and let's go and do some documenting. Okay, so Princess has joined me for another quiet time here in the garden. So I'm going, oh, well, I'm quiet anyway, compared to this little cheeky one. Okay, I'm gonna show you another easy nature journal, just one piece of paper. And we're going to fold it into four. So that's a quarter of the size. So we've got one, two, three, four. So now we've got a little book. And we've got four, one, two, three, four pages that we can use. So I'm going to sit here and do some painting. I might even paint some rocks. Would you like to join me in painting rocks? Perhaps you could paint a rainbow. Maybe you could give it out and hide it, like a sign of hope for people. Maybe we could do some painting of some more signs, like this one here. Got some more labels that we need to do. Or we could do some beautiful watercolours. Can you see this one I did? Let's have a look. So I did an art class this week. So we've been drawing our root vegetables. Can you do me a drawing? I'm going to prepare for next week's classes. We're going to use something special. So I hope that you can join me next time. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.